My name's Quentin Elms. I've worked here at Electron for 16 years, started as a temporary. Uh, at this point in time, I'm a serviceman for. Uh, my name is uh, Steven Van Dusen. Uh, I'm a serviceman for machinist and also an electrician. Uh, my name's Guy Elms. I work for Puget Sound Energy as a power generator serviceman for. And I work at Electron, Electron Generating Station in Ording, Washington. When people ask me, what I do on my job, it's kind of hard to explain. I usually start out with saying that I work for the power company and uh, their first instinct is to uh, ask me about power lines. And uh, so I usually explain that I don't work on the transmission side, um, I work in generation. We take water in off the Puyallup River and it comes into our intake here, starts down our flume, which is 10 miles long. Essentially what we have here is a 10 mile long wood trough, eight feet high, eight feet wide, that carries the water from our intake and drops 10 feet a mile to a, a pond prior to going down through the generators. Our main objective here is to make sure that the water comes from the river and gets to the generators. That's, that's our main job up here. So it goes over the hill, turns the turbines, and then what it does is goes right back into the same river that is up here, so the water goes right back into the Puyallup River. So all we're doing is we're using, using the water for 10 mile long flume and over the hill, and it's right back in. Same water, we're not doing nothing to the water, and it goes right back in for the fish. The way we got to where we're at right now is by riding a speeder over here behind me and that's uh, a piece of equipment that's used to transport personnel and equipment up and down the flume for uh, maintenance, repairs, tours, uh, you name it, that's how you get here. We're very isolated out here and roads are limited to get here, but we have a railroad and the railroad's been here for a, since they built the place in 1904. Our speeders are basically what they are, is they're a, uh, like an engine on a railroad track. They can pull flat cars, they can pull different kinds of cars and stuff up and down the flume so we can get to where we need to do all of our maintenance work and stuff. An average day, depending on what time of year, in the winter time you're out making sure that uh, everything is, the track is clear, there's nothing, there are no trees, there's nothing in the way, uh, so that the railroad has access. Make sure that the water is flowing, there's not anything in the flume sidewalls, trees coming off the hill hitting the sidewall. Uh, in the summertime we do a lot of changing out of the bents. Uh, that generally occupies most of the summer because it's difficult to do that in the winter time. Here at uh, Puget Sound Energy uh, they classify their employees basically in two groups. Um, you're either classified as a machinist or an electrician. The workforce out here at Electron is a very talented group of people. We do a lot of things. There's welders and carpenters and electricians and everyone has a has a certain specialty and generally we all get along pretty well. You know we're all family up here and you know I'm I'm up with my fellow employees just about more than I'm with my wife. <laughs> there's there's 19, 20 guys here and uh, they're more than than your just people you work with. They become kind of like your family. You, you see them outside of work. You do things outside of work with them. Look out for your fellow employees. You know, you don't want them hurt. You know, you, everyone wants to go home the same way they showed up. It's a great place to work and if you show up on time, work hard, don't get hurt, look out for each other, and go home safe and, and in one piece and make sure all the people you work with do then you will have a very good job going into the future with a livable wage and it'll keep you in Jeep parts and toys. Being with the union, uh, the IBEW Local 77 here, um, you feel like you have some assurance that your job is going to be there in the future. You're not worried about layoffs so much or, or the company going away because it's a big enough company, you know you're going to be around for a while. It's about the best job I've ever had. I've worked other places and this hasn't beat hands down. <laughs>